Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead to our template. So my template has once you open the folder, it has a C4D, Cinema 4D part and an After Effects part. So the first thing we want to do is double click on the Cinema 4D file. So once you click on the, uh, once you double click on the Cinema 4D file, it should launch in like some time after it loads up and it's gonna look something like this if you are using a windows it's gonna look like this exactly and what you have to do is you have to click on the name and then if you want to change it you can uh click click it and then change it to anything you want you can change it to uh tech and press enter and then once you click here it should uh, it should update the text and then most of the time there are two layers of text so change the other one too by clicking on it and change it to the same thing you change the first one to. Now once you click there it should update itself and now if we play the video as you can see uh, you can see the whole thing the whole animation kind of thing and it's really cool and if you press on um, if you press on render then if you click on render view it should show you what the text is gonna look like yeah it's gonna look something like this so just press on it and then now we what we want to do is we want to um, click on the text and if you want to change the font click on it come right here and then you can uh, change it to anything you want right now it's on plump but if I want to change it I can just click on any of these and it would change itself and if you also want to change the color double click here and you will be uh, able to change it but I don't suggest changing the color because if you change it and the particles and stuff in the background are different and the colors are different they don't mix they don't match it's gonna look a bit ugly in some intro so I don't suggest changing the color so once you have done that what you have to do is click here again onto your render settings and make sure it's 1280 by 720 if you have a good computer and if you have a, a like really good computer you can go ahead and put it on 1920 by 1080 that would be 1080p and then what you have to select where you're gonna save your file mine is gonna be on my desktop and then format should be set on QuickTime movie now you can do PNG sequences and that's going to be a bit faster and the quality is going to be a bit higher but it's going to be in loads and loads of pictures on your Mac so I don't suggest doing that. So instead just uh, select QuickTime movie and then click here to start rendering your, uh, your intro. I have already done this so I'm not going to do this and I'm going to uh, be back in After Effects. So guys once you have finished exporting your cinema 4d parts of the intro now what you want to do is you want to uh you want to go ahead and go into the after effects part so this is going to be included in the folder too so double click on the after effects part so guys now i am in after effects and it should look something like this and it should say file missing when you start the uh, uh the after effects because we have one file missing and we're gonna replace that with the one that we just made in Cinema 4D. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the template folder and you should drop down a menu and you should it should drop down this two things and you wanna replace this colorful thing, the PNG. Right click on it and then go on to replace footage and then click on file. So once you have done that, go wherever you saved your intro i saved my intro that i have exported from uh, cinema 4d on my desktop so i'm gonna select that file and click on open so guys once you have loaded your footage in after effects now there's one more thing to do and that is to export or render your video and that's really easy all you have to do is you just have to go to your composition and from there click on add to render queue and once you click here it should appear this kind of window should appear and make sure that it is on best settings and lossless and then you want to click where it says output and then um, you can save it on your desktop documents applications anywhere you want it to be uh, and the file format is going to be in a dot uh, movie quicktime movie so 
uh, don't worry you can upload it to YouTube or edit it in other editing software so now what you want to do is name it whatever you want and just click on save and then from uh, here you want to click on render and it should start rendering and it's gonna take like 10 minutes or something depending on the speed of your computer and yeah I'll see you in the next video